actually double. And so I, I cannot. I apologise to the member. Your time I has cannot expired. support this bill. I call Christopher Pink. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, it's a pleasure to rise to take call on the crimes increased penalty for uh, providing explosive to commit crime amendment bill. Um, Madam Speaker, it seems to me um, that it's worth starting with a constitutional nicety, if I may. Um, there's been some talk on the other side of the House about Parliament increasing um, sentences or penalties um, for people who commit the acts uh, to which this bill uh, will apply. Uh, in fact, of course, it is uh, the judiciary, uh, the judges themselves, who will apply in any given case the penalty. So it's worth noting uh, that as a parliament what we will be doing, uh, if this law is to pass, is not uh, in fact to increase um, the penalties but the maximum penalties and therefore what we are doing in fact is providing a greater range. We are increasing the discretion available to the judge uh, in her or his discretion um, in any given uh, situation. So to me that's the first point to be made, uh, uh, Madam Chair. Um, and then we come to the point that um, it is true, however, to say that uh, a piece of legislation uh, of this nature does send a signal uh, or a message, is the language that's sometimes used um, to people who might be uh, contemplating offences or who have indeed um, carried out such offences. Um, and uh, that signal is important. Uh, to have consistency with other equivalent legislation and um, certain sections of the Arms Act have been discussed by this House uh, on both sides already, uh, so I don't intend to traverse that ground uh, further. Um, in absolute terms, however, I do think it's important to note that the excellent members bill by my colleague Alistair Scott um, includes um, uh, an understanding that explosives are by their nature uh, somewhat indiscriminate in their effect, uh, and so their effect in legal terms uh, by way of punishment for those who um, dabble in them um, should also be uh, not insignificant. Um, Madam Chair, I also wanted, excuse me, Madam Speaker, I also wanted to make a, a point regarding the purpose um, of this legislation. It seems to me that um, the parties opposite have focused rather narrowly on the deterrence aspect of our criminal justice system. Um, in somewhat sarcastic terms at times, um, but of course punishment and also prevention are also valid uh, objectives of our criminal justice system and indeed this Act, namely that if a maximum penalty of five years as opposed to two, for example, um, is exercised, then that's a, a three-year period um, for which the community can feel safe against those um, who would supply, knowingly supply indeed, uh, explosives to people who um, would use those to harm others. Uh, so for those reasons, uh, Madam Speaker, uh, it seems to me this bill is very worthy of support uh, and I'm very pleased to do so along with other members of my party. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion 